I'm Zach, uh, and I'm going to be talking about a package called sfml.jl, which I've been working on. Um, and it's a binding of the simple and fast multimedia library. So what is SFML? Um, it's a C++ open source library, um, and it's a multimedia library. So it's great for um, doing graphics. It also has audio and network support. Um, and it runs on Mac, Linux, and Windows. Um, and it's just a really nice library. Uh, and it has a bunch of bindings, one of which is now Julia. But uh, importantly for me, it's got a, a C binding called CSFML. And that's uh, written by the, the author of um, the C++ version and officially maintained. Um, so SFML is organized into five different modules, uh, audio, graphics, network, system, and window. And these really. Uh, encapsulate everything and let you make all sorts of multimedia applications. Um, SFML has uh, no other Julia package dependencies, um, and I try to follow the SFML API as much as possible. So um, to learn how to use it, uh, I provide a bunch of examples, um, ranging from creating text to shaders, FTP, all sorts of stuff. Um, and there's also uh, really fleshed out official documentation. That's C++. Shouldn't be too hard to convert between the two, though. And there's an SFML book. And I'm going to show a little code to give you a taste of what the code looks like. Um, so here's uh, a simple program for uh, rotating an image. Um, so you create the window, um, load the image into a texture, uh, create a sprite, which can hold an, it's like a, a graphics object, can hold an image. And then the loop starts, uh, check if the window's been, if the X has been pressed, and if so, close the window, and then rotate the logo or the image two degrees and draw it. And this is what it looks like. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, using the library, I've made a package called Animated Plots. Um, it's more of a proof of concept package, but it lets you create static um, and animated plots, so you can plot things over time. Uh, and an example of this is a uh, double pendulum, and I'll, I'll demo this. Uh, so this time there are two windows. Um, one of them has the double pendulum. Uh, running, and the other one is an animated plot of the angular velocities of the two joints. So the, the blue plot is the angular velocity of the, the center joint, and the red plot is the angular velocity of this middle joint. Um, so SFML is mainly, it, it mainly used for making games. You can use it. It's, there's no reason it can't be used for scientific things, but um, it's also great for making games. Uh, so you get music and sound effects. Uh, you can do shaders, all sorts of stuff, user input. And then Julia provides multiple dispatch. So if you've got uh, an array of game objects and you want to draw all of them, you can just go through and call draw on each one. And the correct draw call, whether it's a circle or a square, will be dispatched. And so I've got this game example. Um, this has music. Oh, I hope the audio works out. It's a cheesy asteroids type game. Et cetera. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you just saw, uh, SFML supports audio. Um, it supports playing audio, also recording it. And it supports a bunch of different formats. Um, and so these audio processes uh, execute on a different thread. Um, and so the rest of the program, the graphics, all the other stuff continues. You just call play, and it runs in the background. And uh, I've got a demo of recording. So this, this demo will record me for 40 se uh, four seconds and then play back the audio. So here it is uh, recording me for these four seconds. And it's going to play it back. So here it is, uh, recording me for these four seconds. And it's, there we go. This SFML also has support for network. 
um, all sorts of protocols. So you can make TCP servers and sockets, UDP servers and sockets. Um, you can make HTTP requests. So uh, this example code um, makes a, a GET request to a web page. Um, and then you can also do FTP for file transfer. Um, so another package I've been working on is chipmunk.jl. So chipmunk is a C library. Um, it's a physics engine. And um, I've now bound it in Julia. And it has no support for um, graphics. Uh, all it does is you give it the physics objects, and then you just step the world. And it, you ask for the positions, and it gives them back. But there's no real way to visualize it. So you can't really tell if you've uh, built the world correctly. Um, so chipmunk.jl uses sfml.jl uh, as the back, back end for debug drawing. And I've got two demos. Um, so this one is just a, a pyramid falling over. Um, and then uh, this one, so the last one used SFML just for drawing. Um, this one also uses it for user input. So if I left click, it makes circles. And if I right click, it makes squares. <laughs> um, so SFML.jl is nearly complete. Um, it's ready to use. Um, but there are a couple things that I've had trouble binding. So um, SFML, the, the threads that they provide, um, and then sound streams and sound stream recorders. Um, those let you make real-time modifications to the audio, um, like while it's being recorded or played. Um, and the problem that I've had is uh, these execute callbacks. So they uh, run Julia functions from C, but from a different thread. And I think it's possible to do, but I've had trouble um, making that work. Um, so. SFML.jl requires uh, version 0.4 of Julia. Uh, it runs on Mac, Linux, and Windows. And you just package add it. Um, Chipmunk uh, doesn't yet work on Windows, uh, sadly. Um, and it's really great for making real-time graphics and demos. You can contribute at the GitHub repository. That's it. Yeah, so um, it needs to be able to pass uh, struct or structs back and forth as types. So Julia types corresponding to C structs it needs to be able to pass it back and forth. And yeah, 0 0.4 provides that. And have you seen uh, single async work for calling? Yeah, I haven't been able to get it to work, though. <laughs> Thank you.